You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. I thought you said you were going to ride your bike here, dude. What happened to that? I was. I was. That's what I was saying. I was on a bike earlier, and uh, I fucking I fucked up the the rear wheel. Yeah. Just sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get some stronger wheels, dude. No, dude. I fuck? gotta get a less person. You gotta get. I gotta less, be less people. You gotta subtract people yeah. from what you have. No, right the now. wheels. Gra- it's like the best wheel you can get. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into the bike store, and they were like. <sighs> I actually legit, I did ask the dude at one point because I just got it uh, tuned up like a couple weeks ago. And I was like, can I put better wheels on here? And he was like, nah, man. <laughs> they don't get better than this, brother. <laughs> he was like, this is about as strong as they're going to be. And it is fucked up. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. <laughs> dude, you can't catch a break today, brother. Oh, no, here, dude. tighten that little knobby right yeah, there. Really tight. Yeah, yeah I'm a pro, dude. I got it. <laughs> I, I fucking got this. Dude. I can tighten it, dude. Darian Irwin, what's up, brother? I'm glad to have you here. We've been talking about doing this for so long, and we're just both like, I don't know, lazy stone idiots. You smoke weed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay yeah, good. Yeah, just making yeah. sure. Yeah. Making sure it's not just me. But we're just like, oh, dude, I'll see you like three days after we were supposed to do it, and we're like, oh, that's happened a couple. That has happened. We a couple were gonna times. do yeah. the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're fucking doing it, dude. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Dude. I would like to. I'd rather say that I was busy. Yeah. You, you weren't. That's you what weren't I tell busy, people. Dude. Yeah. No, I Neither was. Neither was I. I was. No, there was a couple weeks I was out of town. I, I, know, I know. Yeah. Are you doing Skank Fest again this year? No. 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 You taking a year off after yeah, the last I think, time? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we'll fucking we'll let that. Yeah. That's one of the things I wanted to ask you about because I I haven't had a chance to talk to you very much about it. So last yeah. year you rode your you were like I'm gonna ride my bike from uh, your bicycle. From uh, from Austin to Vegas. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and did you make it all the way? What a good idea, huh? <laughs> Dude, what a fun. You hear that? You're like, you know what? That's something we should do. <laughs> 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 no, I did not. I did not make it. How I, far did you make it? I made it uh, very far. We were uh, three days from finishing when I fucking it was the end of the night and I hit a pothole and I went oh, over the handlebars no. and I separated my shoulder. And that was fucking all other kinds of. Sh- that was that was the, the the really bad. That's what prevented me from continuing to write. But I was also like cut up and fucking. Mm-hmm. It, it sucked. It sucked really bad actually. And then uh, then they gave me fentanyl, which ruled. They gave you fentanyl. That ruled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so was, now you see why the fucking crack. It was, it was love unbelievable. It. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I I had a, I told this story on on, on my podcast, but we were uh, uh, when I was sitting there, I had my shoulder was like. Uh, like out just right? pulsating right? with and pain it, it just hurts so bad it would not stop hurting and um they're like all right we got to set your shoulder and i was like i don't know how the, this is nuts and uh uh she goes without even talking to me she just goes all right give him x amount of fentanyl <laughs> that's what she said and i was like and I, I i was like what and she turned around she like whipped her head at me and she's like what it's medicine <laughs> I was like, "All right, dude. Well, We're allowed." Yeah, I was like, "Okay." It's not against the rules in these four walls, I brother. Guess. Well, that's what I told. I, I said, uh, "I said, well, I don't know. Fentanyl is a scary word. I feel like you just should have probably talked to me first. She's like, "Do you want it or not?" And I was in so much pain that I was like, "All the, right." The yeah. As soon as they gave it to me, I was like, "Can we break something else?" Like what? <laughs> this is You're so like, hey, how much, how much more of that you got? Yeah. Can I leave with some dude. of that? It's nuts. Did they give you the it? patches? No. No. No, it was like intravenous. My friends that were dome. like super druggy party guy friends that never they, those guys that like never stopped doing all the drugs possible yeah. and they you know what I mean like I like you do yeah. that you do that for a little bit when you're in like, out of high school or whatever yeah. college and yeah. then like college age and then and then there's the homies that just <clears throat> You're you grow up and shit, and then like years down the road, you're like, oh, let's check in and see what they're. Oh, you're still doing all the drugs possible that you can find. Right. Those guys were like the first ones I ever heard of fentanyl with. This was like fucking over ten years ago. They their buddy's dad was like terminally ill, so that he had the patches, and okay. they would scrape it off the patches and smoke it out of tin foil. It was like the most crap. And it's like we're supposed to be suburban. Middle class well, drug users. Patches, you guys are I, doing something crazy. Why would you just take it off the patch and smoke it? Because they're the... fucking psycho drug addict kids. I don't know. But what would be the benefit of that? I don't know. It's quicker. Is I don't... it quicker? I don't know. Do you know? The, what's the difference between smoking fentanyl and do oh, you know? I, I would just imagine it would just be so much quicker. Yeah, I think it's freebasing shit, it right? Is it... Where their dad can't tell that they're doing it, you know? Oh, yeah, I don't know. That sucks. You made you go to put your patch on, your kids are already taking all the fentanyl off of it. You're like, God, this is shit's not working That'll on me anymore. That'll ruin your day, dude. 
but yeah, so you got fentanyl in the hospital and you were scared of it because the PR for fentanyl is horrible right now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's horrible. like that's what will it will kill you, right? Yeah. That's the drug they're like this will. Like less than a fucking grain of salt or yeah. something. Or you're going to be addicted forever and die. You know, and we see those zombies every day. It's like this is what you'll become if you yeah, do, Mike. do too much fentanyl. Yeah, Mike Eaton. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you do too much fentanyl, you'll become Mike Eaton. Yeah. If you can do enough fentanyl and keep eating, that then you become Mike Eaton. Yeah, that would yeah. be incredible. Most people go to one of most, two ways. Yeah, exactly. It makes most people nauseous and not hungry. Mike, it just revs his engine, dude. He just has to hit the drive. Dude, I had a, we had a buddy, our buddy Jared, back in the day. Uh, he that boy. Huh? Subway? Yeah. Subway Jared. Yeah, Subway Jared. Yeah, yeah dude. Jared he, he uh he was a, this like he was really big, like jolly dude. And this was when we were when we were, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah sandwiches? Loved kids. Yeah. 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 Loved sandwiches. Guy. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of things are like I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. I haven't heard from him in quite yeah. a while. So maybe it wasn't. Hopefully he's doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> dude, but Jared would he would uh we were. It was during our like experimental drug phase in in like right out of high school, and we were all, we were doing ecstasy pills, like the dirty ones with like the dolphins on them. Okay. Like the the good the fun ones. Those are fun. Yeah, those yeah. were fun. I've never done ecstasy. Really? No. Nah. It was. I missed the dirty ecstasy when it was cut with a bunch of horrible shit. You know, like everyone wow. wants to do Molly now, but like the, yeah. the pills were fun because you never know what you're gonna get. All right. You know what I mean? Okay. And then, but anyway, these that scares ones. scares the shit yeah, out of no, me. No, it's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know actually, so. <laughs> but uh, but. We would do these blue dolphins, and he would get hungry, and it was the most disgusting. Because on ecstasy, food is just like disgust. The idea of eating is just disgusting to most people. Yeah, and uh, and he would get he would get high on ecstasy, and we'd all be like, you know, smoking cigarettes and whatever, and drinking, and he'd be like, dude, let's go to Taco Bell right now. Yeah, and I I watched this. We were all on ecstasy watching this dude house like a whole. Remember those family packs they used to have at, at, at <laughs> yeah, soft tacos? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> rip. Yeah, yeah, they, they <laughs> rip. I have them on the regular. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's great value. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but dude, he would house like a whole ten, eleven. Soft tacos on right ecstasy. in front of us on ecstasy, and we we're just like, "How? That's a wild I'm gonna move. go in the other room." <laughs> it's yeah, horrible. I don't like. I don't. I, I would. I. I can't believe you guys ended up at Taco Bell. Dude, yeah. That just seems like somebody's got to tell that guy, "Hey, that's not the. That's not the Molly vibe." Yeah, this isn't the drug that you're supposed to do before Taco Bell. No, <laughs> you're not supposed to. I mean, well, I guess Taco Bell is a place. If it's you're a good weed, up. good stoned or drunk. Stoned or drunk, right? Taco not, Bell's not a not a <laughs> not a rave, not an spot. amphetamine yeah, spot, really. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, truthfully, if there are any good amphetamine spot, I guess a rave is, is a yeah. good amphetamine spot. Yeah. Uh, so I want to go back to your Skankfest thing. Why did you want to do that? Why did you want to? You're riding your bike a lot, and you're like, I could fucking ride my bike to Las Vegas. Well, I felt like my life was going too good. You know what I mean? Shit was working out. So it was like, it was really coming together, and I needed a really big wrench (laughs) to just get thrown in your gears. Yeah, exactly. So it was good for that. How was it going better? How was it going good? How was it? Yeah, what things were? What was going too good that you made you think that you needed a? Nothing was going. No, that was a joke. Nothing was going good. (laughs) Yeah, and then it was going worse afterwards. Yeah, I I don't know if you heard. I tried to ride a bike to Vegas. (laughs) You still haven't recovered from that? Yeah, no. (laughs) Did you just wake up? No, no. I took an edible like a couple hours ago. Oh shit! Yeah, okay, nice. Now you're cruising, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I can't do shit on it. I took an edible on the plane ride back here from Portland like last month. And I thought it was like a 20 milligram and I took it like our flight was supposed to board like pretty soon. So I took it and I was like, sweet. By the time I'm on that plane, it'll be hitting. I'll be cruising. And I was like, babe, how much was in that edible? And she's yeah. like, it's 100. And I oh, was like, yeah. oh, fuck. And then they're like, your boarding is delayed for like 45 minutes. Yeah. And so I had to sit there and just fucking let it all hit me. And like my legs, I was my legs were all like wiggling. And I was like, dude, I need to like I still have to I'm past security, but I still have to walk past that like lady. Hi. Scanning your fucking ticket right before you get on the plane. And I was just like, dude, if I can't fucking I got to make it on this plane. I looked over at my girl and I was like, I have to make it on this. plane. Did you think you, did you think you were going to die? I don't know. I didn't think I was going to die. I just thought that maybe I would be like wobbly walking and they'd be like, you're fucked up. You can't get on the plane. Uh, That's okay. what I was like the uh, most concerned yeah. with. You know what I mean? Like. Dude, I, how many edible or milligrams did you take before you came here? Two hundred. Oh my, two hundred. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's not that's uh, yeah. No, I'm not dealing with it well. Thank you really? You. You're yeah. not right now. No, no I'm fine. Uh-oh. That'd be my. That's my biggest problem with taking edibles on planes, though, is that it's the recurring thought of like this plane is going to crash. 
Yeah, or just like all the different options of like what could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turbulence uh, yeah. hits different on edibles. I feel like everyone makes that mistake of being like edibles would be great on a flight, and they're not. And we never learn from our mistakes ever yeah. with that. It's worse than taking an amphetamine at a Taco Bell. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> at least with a Taco Bell, you can back out of the drive through Yeah, no joke. You yeah. can't You're fucking, in there's this no plane, going dude. back, dude. Yeah, fuck, yeah. And I, then, dude, once you fall asleep and you feel like you feel like it's been two seconds and you wake up, you finally fall asleep, and then you just hear, we're going to be landing in Austin soon. You're just like, oh, we fucking did it, boys. Yeah. We can you sleep on a plane? It. I cannot. I cannot. Uh, it depends. Sometimes, yeah. I can't. What do you think about this raw dog and flights thing? Have you seen that? Oh, that's so stupid. I don't understand why people are doing it. I actually don't even buy it. You think it's t- totally fake? Totally fake. Totally f- no just one's no Chaz one's raw dog just fucking flights. making shit up. No. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You couldn't. Do I it? could cut that together. You couldn't do it. Could I do it? How long do you think you could make it raw if, dog? If you paid me enough, I could. There would just be no reason to do that for fun. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Is your brain just melting on a yeah. plane? I'm gonna get in an argument with the people next to me. <laughs> So anyway, Trump rules, right? Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> so, something crazy is gonna happen. I gotta have. I gotta. I gotta. Yeah. And depending on who you're sitting next to, you're like, I mean, uh, you're, he's like, yeah, and you're like, oh no, I mean, Kamala rules, right? You just mm-hmm. instantly change it just to just to get a rise. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't understand why you would. I also. I, yeah, I just don't buy that they're even putting themselves through that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't buy. Sense. Yeah, you can in like three in, in three little clips, right? You can make that make it look like you ride dog the whole flight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, take were, a nap, wake yeah. up. Take a nap, wake yeah. up. It's bullshit. Yeah. You're right. Everything's fucking fake, dude. Yeah, Are you a conspiracy guy? Um, no. <laughs> no. What does that mean? <laughs> Who's asking? What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Are you? Are you? I guess it's more like nowadays. It's like what? Which one? Level? Do you what believe? level yeah, of like conspiracy, a, a dude? Are you? Because like we were just talking about this on our last episode. It was like it's like it, conspiracies got old when like you're you had those friends. They were like, you're like, oh, dude, did you see what happened in the news? And they're like, let me look up the conspiracy on this. Right, right, And you're right, like, right. dude, not everything can fucking be, you know. But it can. But it can, But it could. But it could. But it could. How far am I? What's your favorite? What's your favorite right now? What's your favorite one right now? I don't right know if now? I have a favorite. I don't like, I, that, I don't have a favorite. Yeah. Uh, but I will go as far as, uh, didn't it just, didn't it just, uh, there was, it was like a few months ago, didn't uh, they discover that, uh like uh, some of the hijackers were FBI and for either informants or agents. What for nine eleven? Yeah, I don't know. Pro- that was I think that's old news, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Matthias is our chief core chief conspiracy correspondent. <laughs> he stays up until the wee hours think, of the night. I don't night. think that's. I thought it was always believed, but it like came out like it's fact. Like yeah, documents were released. This Recently. was like a few months ago. Really? Yeah, this is not that long ago. Can you find anything about it too? I'll look for it. Yeah, look for it. We'll keep talking, but. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, don't you feel like 9 11 is kind of tired now? Like, you can't even, you bring it up, people are just like, oh, we know. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody knows. Yeah. I was, I was wondering if COVID would be like that eventually, too, where people are like, oh, we know. COVID's going to get a sick documentary in like five years. Yeah, the, for the guys yeah. that made Zeitgeist. Yeah. They're make yeah. Fucking yeah. The same kind of thing with COVID. I don't know. What would be the conspiracy with COVID? I thought we also kind of know everything about that, too. Though. I think we kind of do. Right? Yeah. Lab. Every, it's like when you learn about all this stuff, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, the more you learn, the less it matters. It's like, it doesn't matter that you know the information. It doesn't affect anything or change anything. You couldn't have done anything. Yeah, you, you couldn't know all the stuff, different. and it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. And he's, and then you have those friends that just fill their fucking mind. They're, all their time is just filled with looking up all of the... Is that this guy? All of oh, the things. The I'm kidding. <laughs> is that this guy? my birthday's 9-11. Your dude, birthday's 9-11? Yeah. Well, happy birthday, man. Dude, he, tur- birthday. he turned 11 on 9-11. That's cool. And that's, he, see, that's and, conspiratorial. And you're not going to believe this part. Yeah. Ready? I bet you I will. He's a twin. Okay. Twin Towers. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Him, well, and him and his twin brother. Him and his twin brother turned 11 on 9 11. Yeah. And the buildings are shaped like 11s. <laughs> the buildings are shaped like 11. <laughs> <That's, laughs> I, you know what? I'd never noticed that. And my little brother's <laughs> that's birthday crazy. is the opposite 11 9. I shit you not. Really? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, right. wow. It's, a very, it's very strange. What's yeah. your name? <laughs> oh, Sam. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone Mati- called me a terrorist. Mati- 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 Matthias Akbar, Allah. 
Uh, I can't find anything right now. You can find the conspiracy theories of anything, it, dude. dude. They scrubbed oh, it. Oh, they scrubbed it. Dude, they found the fucking passports the day of on the fucking ground. <laughs> that doesn't Are make it. That is so ridiculous. Me? That is so retarded. Let me scoot over this rubble. Oh, look what I found. Yeah. A oh. perfectly pristine dude. passport. Yeah, of the guys that hijacked the planes. Wow, what a coinkadink. <laughs> the whole yeah, that's story pretty makes impressive no fucking if, sense. If, if yeah. they didn't plant that. Well, on the insurance policy that was taken out on the building the day before, nah, or like go. a month before. <laughs> here we I go, told you, dude. Oh, we we, we, we should have said. Yeah. The psychosis with conspiracies is so crazy. Just yeah. like the more you learn about it and the more right you are, the crazier you are to everyone else. Like, okay, well, give it a rest. And then being right about stuff and then all the time. The plane that supposedly, uh, you know, crashed into the Pentagon and it just so happened to hit the audit office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, where know. they were auditing all that money that disappeared. Where what's his face, Donald Rumsfeld? I yeah, think? like two point three trillion or some some crazy amount of money. Uh, is like gone. fucking yeah. insurance and money. No plane pieces were found at the Pentagon, and they scrubbed all the surveillance. There was a shell station everything. across yeah. the street yeah. that yeah. had a camera pointing at it, and like the FBI went over there and was like, "We're yeah, I don't brother. buy any <laughs> that bullshit. We're gonna need there's that. a you know there's a Taco Bell now. Where, <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story. There's a Taco Bell now where that plane crashed. Really? Yeah. No, it's the food court. No way. Yeah, it is. They put a Taco Bell, a commemorative Taco Bell. Baja they were like, dude. God bless yeah. America. Yeah, <laughs> They're like, what's the most American thing we can do to commemorate the, the you know, the bombing or the, 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 the plane? Or yeah, but... or what? Like the towers? Uh, no, 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 no. At the, Pen- the wing of the Pentagon that that plane struck is now the food court. Oh. Where and there there's sits a, ta- a real life Taco Bell. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've never seen something about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it, dude. <laughs> you could have been making that up, and he would have just been like, "Oh yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I well, knew no, that." I think they put, like, they put that in there so they don't have to go out of the Pentagon to go get food, so they can stay in there. Yeah, well, it makes sense that the Pentagon has a food court. I just think it's funny that they put a Taco Bell right where the plane hit. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, I think that's pretty funny. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty good, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Nine Eleven is probably not. Everything that they told us, no, that's dude. where I'm nothing at. is written. No, nothing. it's no, all of it's not what they tell us. But what the fuck are we gonna do? About when are they gonna tell us what's real, dude? Why, why just, would they? Why? Why not? What would it hurt if they just were like, hey, everything? Everything. Here's, and yeah, here's yeah, what's yeah, really yeah. going on. Our entire way of life would collapse. <laughs> but how? I what mean, do you, you know what I mean? Like, the but, whole but if they were social structure, yeah. I just mean if you check the news and they were like, "Listen, guys, gas is fucking high, and well, we're," I'm sorry, Vanguard I'm sorry. and BlackRock own everything. Dude, they would be caught lying. Yeah, about but what everything. if they just came I, out and just said all that stuff to us that we already know that they're doing all dirty and behind? And just were like, "Hey, look, this is how it is." Well, they still haven't said anything about JFK back in the day, and they won't. They're still, and they won't. Yeah, <laughs> they're not going to admit that what they're doing. I just think it'd be kind of cool. You know? Yeah, it'd be sick as fuck, but they're not. Why, what would ha- but, but, but how what would it be, play out? But, but, how would but, it play but, out? But you're saying, you're saying, why don't they do this? Yeah. Right. It's about control. What, what reason would they have to do it? I guess none. <laughs> like, but uh, it would be in their best interest to lie. To not do it. Yeah. yeah. But they already have total full control. Right? What it's, what, how would it play it's out? To keep if that they, control. If they did, if they did, like, if they were just like, guys, if we woke up tomorrow and Twitter. The the, uh, the politicians were like, guys, let's we're gonna lay it all out. Yeah, like what what are the ramifications? I would. We're think, just gonna get mad and do nothing about I it. I would think if they the laid thing. out, if they started just laying shit out, that would make me feel like, oh, there's something else huge happening right. that they don't want. This is throwing us a bone. Like they're gonna tell us the family secrets before dad dies. No, something I like think that. like if if they started talking like 9/11 is fucking, we didn't go to the moon. They just started. What if one one a day? They're just they're if giving they're us starting just to do drops. one a day, <laughs> one I a day am drops out, from the I'm White House. Out of here! I'm out of here. They start doing one a day. I'm out of here. Dude. What you would know, they do? Because the last you know, one's gonna started, be nuts. If they started doing that, like <laughs> there would be such fucking unrest. Yeah, and they would all be down in their bunkers watching the world fucking blow. Okay, up. but yeah, you man. really think there'd be? What are Americans gonna do if the if the White House tweets, guys? You got us. 
you're totally right about this and that. We're gonna do daily drops. Have you, you met know what I mean? these guys? No, I know. I'm just saying, like, like I feel like we're too we're too lazy. Where like, I feel you, like I feel where like were we... you like three years ago. Do you remember all that shit that happened? Them yeah. burning down all those buildings because that one guy died. Yeah, but that's for that's for that's like the that one person. That's like the crazy antifa people doing it against cops or whatever. That's yeah, like but a time there, old there, tale. There are right wing versions of those people that true, exist too. True, true. They'll free. They have true. guns. Yeah. yeah, they will flip out, dude. No. Yeah, but then, but then you look at like January six was pretty embarrassing. Le- it was let more let more embarrassing than it was scary, right? Like those people didn't show up with guns and do anything cool, right? They just fucking were like taking pictures on their phone and like you know like, shitting still kind in of Kamala's a, or shitting still, in Nancy Pelosi's chair. Yeah, you don't maybe you don't remember that. It was still kind of a fucking uh, uh, scary time. It was kind of scary. I kind of remember. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't when it was happening. It didn't. It felt goofy afterwards, where there's like, oh, they didn't really do anything. But at the time, you're like, oh my god, our country's falling apart. (laughs) That's what it felt like. You're like watching. You're on the news, and they're overrunning the capital. You're like, holy shit. Yeah, that would happen. But part of me just thinks that there would be like maybe a little bit of that if they were doing daily drops of like realness. You know what I mean? From the White House, but then like it would kind of move along. Like the next hawk to a thing would happen, and everybody's like attention would just divert. No, nah, maybe then, if they start coming out, it's because aliens are real and they need to get to that one or something. Right? Yeah, it's just bad news. What do you think That's happens if aliens are real tomorrow? What do people? What, what? How does the world react? Do is there riots? As opposed to aliens, what are the real options? today? Yeah, like like if if tomorrow they fucking you know do a, a video chat and they're like, "What's up? This is from the province, okay? You know, planet." And yeah. then and then they're like. They've been around for a long time. Like everything, you know, we've been keeping this stuff from you. Like, just wanted to put it out there. You guys have a good day. You know, back to work. <laughs> you know what you I think mean? that's like, all it would be? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Like, how do you? I'm asking. I'm if, just, I, if aliens, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to paint a real, picture in my head about it. Okay. If aliens were real, what would what would change? Like, yeah. Ha, like, I'm talking day one reaction. What are we thinking? What do, what do, what do you think it would be like? I guess it's really up to them. Right. I mean, the aliens are going to be the ones that set the tone, not us. You think? Yeah. Okay. What are the t- what are the options? Either we're all dead. Like okay. Either we're all dead. I mean, if they're talking to us, I did. It wouldn't make sense if they're. I think if they're talking to us, then that's a good sign, because they wouldn't be talking to us if it wasn't. If they were just gonna flatten us, right? They would just would they take t- care of that. that yeah. 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 So Christmas Eve or something. They probably pick a good. They probably pick like a fun day. It to depends really on. Do so it. it depends on who's announcing it. Okay. If some dudes like aliens are real, but we haven't made contact with them, that's a big issue. Okay. But if uh, the aliens are the ones actually talking to us, everything's cool. Like if they're like, yo, what up? Yeah. It's finally time. We've to, yeah. You know, we and they a, bypass the government. You know all, what I mean? We've been watching y'all for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are tight. You guys are tight as fuck. Wait, listen, you guys got problems. Yeah. But some of you are taking amphetamines you, to Taco Bells. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but we can work on that. You know? Some of you are smoking fentanyl off a of tinfoil, but yeah. we can fix that. You know what I'm saying, though? If they show us the aliens, I think that's good news. You mean. It's bad. You think if the aliens come to us, but if the it's good news. But if we if we're shown by if the White House goes, we got aliens imminent. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. That means they're coming. Yeah. You think it's gonna be like the fucking Marvel movies where they like rip a hole in the sky and no. come in and just level New York City with no. ships and shit like from Halo? <laughs> like what is it? What, what's no, it gonna no. What's gonna happen? I don't I, think it's gonna be like Marvel movies. Okay. That good. would be sick. That would be. But they are sick. just movies. That would rule. <laughs> I don't even like Marvel movies. No. Know, no, it's fine. You don't like Marvel movies? I mean, Who doesn't like Marvel movies? I don't know. You like Marvel? No. You're, you're two to one, brother. Care less Settle about down. It. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I don't care about it, but they're good. Actually, like you can whoop both movies. of our asses, dude. Yeah. Actually, we'll settle down. Dude. No, we I'm don't. Not gonna, we I'm love not gonna Marvel. Do that. We love Marvel. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I have no interest. In I'm them kidding. Whatsoever. You, but you don't even find them entertaining as movies. Nope. Nope. I don't even watch them. Even look. Well, then how the fuck would you know? I I stopped watching Avengers too. I stopped. That's when I stopped. That's when I bowed out. I think Iron Man was the last one I saw. Star Wars, nothing? No. Nope. Oh, even worse. Star Wars sucks. Star Wars worse? Even worse. Yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. the original three are fine. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. But now we're getting somewhere. Starting after that. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, wow. I'm what do you like, love? I don't <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was like, do you guys like anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care for like comic books, like that stuff, like superhero stuff like that. I think it's kind of meh. 
He's okay. just he's just too deep down the conspiracy rabbit hole. Everything's fake and gay yeah. to him, so he doesn't like anything <laughs> fun. Yeah, he's just a negative Nancy. Yeah. What the fuck? What's he? Yeah. What do you like? Yeah. Man? What do you like too? I don't know. I think anime is way better than fucking superhero bullshit. Okay. Mm. Uh, all right. Better stories. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's just funny to call it bullshit, and you're like anime. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny as hell. <laughs> I think cartoons with like gay undertones are fucking, you know. Like Dragon Ball Z better. is way cooler than fucking Superman. He yeah, just a bunch of ass. ripped jack dudes getting dirty in the Man, mud, right. beating each other up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, Superman sucks movie. though. <laughs> That's a bad example. I mean, the Batman movies, like the Batman movies, rips. The uh, Christopher Nolan Batmans yes, are unreal. Yeah. Unreal yeah, like movies, those. yeah. Those unreal. are sick. Yeah. I dig those a lot. That'd be crazy. That's, if you're like, if you said opinion. you didn't like those, I would have left. <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. I, I would have left. I, I would have left no, if you. This is not gonna go anywhere. It's like the, the Marvel stuff. Like <laughs> Why did I show up here? Yeah, this is not. I thought it was the edibles, but I just yeah. don't like you guys, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, those movies were crazy good. I think I saw the the Dark Knight in theaters like two or three times. I one time nobody would go back to see it with me. I wouldn't watch it by myself. I watched and it I was bunch. like, this is great. I should I do this too. more. I filmed one scene once with like a, I, I oh, got you're a so camera. Naughty. Oh, I got in so much trouble. Really? It, yeah, dude, it was crazy. They 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 pulled us out of the movie theater. <gasps> we were in like handcuffs. It was like it was no. nuts. I guess they that theater had had a problem with some dude like making bootlegs from mm. that theater or whatever. So I guess they thought it was me. I was like twelve years old. But I was already like six five. I looked I, it yeah. looked insane. I looked like a middle aged <laughs> retarded guy. <laughs> When I was 12. <laughs> so they pulled me out of the theater and they had us like up against the wall and like handcuffs. Who do you work for? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm just some kid. I'm like, I like the pencil thing. So it's, like was, a, it's, was, like, it's like a high school junior with a summer job like yeah. pushing you up against yeah, the wall. Yeah. Who is he? It was. Who do you work yeah, for? It's just some security guy. <laughs> And then they had called the cops, and I was like, dude, what is going on? People with those jobs, that kind of shit is just the most interesting thing to happen to them in months, so they have to take advantage of it. You know what I mean? Like, the security at a movie theater, they're just, like, sweeping up popcorn with that little fucking handled handled, uh, dustpan. You know, and then like they're like, "Hey, we got a Code Nine in the uh, fucking Dark Knight right now. This guy filming with this Dude, fuck, fucking yeah, no, I, camcorder. Yeah, I, Take I, him down right now. It's I, just like I the work, biggest deal. I work with those guys where it's like it's where uh, uh, like the no, the normal Vulcan guys are usually fine, but like every once in a while we'll have like a big event, so we'll have to bring on extra security guys, and they're all guys who nothing has happened to. So those guys always end up getting into a fight with somebody. And it's fucking, they're looking for it. Yeah, exactly. And it's just so like the other the other night, some fucking some uh some guy that we had hired for extra security, some uh like older forty five year old fucking doughy ass dude like walked into the bar. He wasn't supposed to be there. Or he was he actually had permission to be there. He was uh, a friend of one of the bartenders. He goes in and then this other guy just was like, hey, you can't be in here. And the guy's like, oh, no, it's cool. My buddy works here. And then the other guy just swung at him. No. And just, like, decked him, put him on the ground, and then just threw him out of the I said, you can't be in here. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, dude, what the fuck are you, what are you doing? Dude, this he is just, a comedy show, dude. He just Show hit some guy. Out. Yeah, he just hit some guy. Yeah, way to fuck the energy And then up. he's, like, talking shit after. Where he's like, yeah, dude, I fucking, he tried to step to me, and I decked him. I was like. You're 25 and you're six foot five and you're yeah. fucking black. You're 240. You're in great shape and you just beat the shit out of like a fucking substitute teacher that's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, dude, you suck in this right yeah, now. Yeah, like, This is pick on someone your own size. I hate I hate dudes like that. Well, you see it in, you see it in comedy too, where it's just like uh, people will start talking shit or doing stuff and it just comes from a place of like, oh, you're bored. Like, you actually yeah. don't have anything going on and this yeah. is sad. This is the, you're obsessed with the tea. Yeah. Because this is all you, all you got is fucking tea time. And you're a guy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? This dude's acting you're, like straight up women, women out here, dude. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Spilling tea. Gossip. The gossip in the comedy scene is kind of crazy. I just kind of sit back and try to like let it happen. Yeah, not be involved. I, don't fuck, I, don't fuck I also kind of learn that you learn the hard way from like music. It's like even worse. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, because it's like music is funny because it, like in comedy, if you're well, sometimes it happens with certain people that that, that uh, you know get blacklisted and then you can't do anything with those people. I yeah. guess, but yeah, uh, but like with uh, if your bass player, like you know was a dickhead to somebody at the show. Right. They'll be like, somebody will go tell 20 people that that whole band is fucking 
full of dickheads. Right. And it'll like, it's like having one rotten orange in with right. like the, you know what I mean? And so it's like, there's so many bands been tainted from like one dude that sucks, you know? Yeah. Whereas like with, in com- comedy, you just have to like be a good person yourself. And that's all you have to worry about. It's like the band you have to worry about, like, I have to be a good person. And then it's like, are you guys all fucking. I just want to be, I want to be a musician. You ever see like a drummer where he's like hauling his shit in? You know, like, can you imagine having all the same problems as a comedian, but you also have to like carry around this drum set? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It sucks so bad, dude. Or a tuba. That'd be the worst. That, being a classical musician would suck. At least, at least with like metal, you a get stand up bass. Cool, Oh my god! Just Our your... bass players st- play stand up bass. Oh really? Yeah. Just a fucking nerd walking around with a fucking <laughs> bass, dude. That <laughs> sucks. Oh, we shout out Austin. We love you, shout buddy. Out Austin. That's, That's like, sucks. Yeah. I can't imagine though. I can't imagine like if somebody signs something, yeah. like the because the way it happens in comedy, where it's like somebody gets something and then everyone's just like that fucking guy. Yeah. And I can't imagine that level in in music must be. It's probably pretty similar. What's different? I'm just thinking about right now is like. And I've I've talked about this before on here, but it's like you don't really bomb in music, like even yeah. like you would yeah, like I've always said you would have to shit your pants on stage <laughs> physically, yeah. and then even so, if you like changed your pants and finished the set, they'd yeah. be like, right. "You fucking did it, man!" You, you know rule. what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's like at least you wouldn't. There's no situation where you would be like bombing that that I just bombed energy, and then you have to pack your drums up and lug your shit out after right. you bombed. Oh, you know what God, I mean? Like, dude. It's got to have happened somewhere where some, but I don't know, music, music, it like, there is a little bit, and I think that might be why I started doing stand up is because it's just like there's, you, you're, you need an ego check, I think. You know, like a lot of musicians out there need an ego, like, yeah. Cause they just, it, it's hard to like, it's like, am I tight all the time? Right. Do I always rule? Right. You know, cause I, every time I go on stage, everybody's like, you rule. You know, and it's like good set, dude. You know, it's like. And then in comedy, you don't need nobody needs to tell you. Right. It's like you look. Oh, you lock eyes with really your. Bu- you bad. lock eyes with your buddy that yeah. just watched you eat yeah. shit, and he's yeah. like, Yeah. He's like, you'll get him next time, it's soldier. Really bad. Yeah. Like thing from the bear. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get that guy out of your life. You can't have people around telling you you're gonna get him next time. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not. Yeah. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> It's really disappointing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I haven't. Nobody's ever told. I don't think everybody told me I was going to get them next time. It's just more of a like, you did that. Yeah. That's the, it's the acknowledgement of that was you and you went up. and That was your fault. Yeah, it was your fault. That, it's a bad night. No, well, the room wasn't bad. Yeah. It was you. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best show you've ever like just eaten, a sh- eaten shit on at this point? What's the bomb in your mind? The most, the freshest one was, was the last set I did last week was in Maggie Mays. Oh, and doesn't everybody just, bomb there? I think so. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, and I, and I don't want to disparage like the room or like Jake or whatever because they're cool <clears throat> for letting us get on shows and stuff. And but I would I would almost say that they're more mics than shows. I don't know if they're shows right now with the way because it's like a show to me. You got to have tickets for that, and then yeah. people are excited to be there. And it's like totally when you do a show at Vulcan, it's like they're they're there. I'm saying Even like, if have like, you done, have you been in the situation of doing like a sold out room? No, hot crowd. No. Then you go up, and then you eat a dick? No. Because that's a different thing than right. just eating a dick and no. a mic. No. Yeah. Eating a dick and a mic, that happens. That, that's like, that's that's putting up reps. No. Yeah. The one where it's like, all right, here's where it's supposed to come together, and yeah. then it just it just doesn't? <laughs> no. That's the best. No, I haven't. That's the best. Dude, I remember a time when you were on stage recently. Not, I don't, I wouldn't call it a bomb at all, but uh, it was just an awkward moment. Do you remember this, what I'm talking about? I don't know if you want to talk about it or not. But I'll talk about the, it. What was uh, it? <clears throat> You were doing like a suicide joke, right? Or something. And then this couple in the crowd started getting emotional, like these two old. Oh, this wasn't recent. This was a like long months time ago. ago. It was like a couple, two, three months ago. Uh, I think it was longer than that. No. I was wearing a hoodie. No, I don't know. Yes. Really? I have a picture of it. Yeah. Okay. I know you're talking. It was at Creek. Yeah, it was at Creek. Yeah. yeah. I told totally you can about suicide. Can, yeah. Uh, what was the joke? Um, oh, I'm trying to remember. It was something about if. Uh, it was something about if you, <laughs> if you're having suicidal thoughts, they say you should reach out to somebody. And oh I, right! And I was saying that that's the last thing you should do, because uh, you're just gonna bum everybody out. <laughs> 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 Which is obviously a great joke. It's it's ridiculous. It was not a great joke. It right. was uh, it never worked. It, uh, it not once did it really work. But I was trying. I think it's it, funny in a dark way. I was trying it at this fucking yeah. show, and uh, this couple. Uh, 
No, actually, it was the the woman got mad. Yeah. Um, I guess they had just lost somebody or something. Right. And she flipped out. She was like, no. Yeah. And then. You do reach out. And then, yeah, she was just being a Karen. She was annoying yeah. or whatever. Then what I actually liked, the dude got up and defended her because he had to. But right. you could tell he didn't really want to. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> and he even said, like, I have to defend my wife here. And uh, after he said that, too, I was on stage. I was like, oh, fuck. Fuck, I look like the such a dickhead. Yeah. Like he's crushing standing up for his wife so hard that there's no way out of this for me now. Like I'm just an asshole talking about suicide. Yeah. And uh, anyways, they get up and leave. I say, like, give it up for them, everybody. They all, <laughs> the audience all cheers. And then I go, uh, I'm I will be honest though, after talking with them for a few minutes, I do understand why their friend killed them. <laughs> 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 it was brutal. Dude. <laughs> Sounds like he turned it around. Well, yeah, no, we got him. Didn't it was you weird. say some? Didn't they say you said some nice to him outside or something like that? Right? After yeah, 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 yeah. I would never. Yeah, I would. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was cool with him. Yeah. yeah, dude. Uh, See, I'm still at the point where like uh, any derailment from the crowd because I've only been doing it for like a year and some change, and and uh, like if people yell out or something, it just completely fucks me up. Oh, really? And just derails me, and I don't like it. Yeah. And I'm like, stop. Stop yeah. that. Which I need to figure out a funny way to be like, don't, you know? Or so, just, like, just to tell them not to. Or I just need to get I just need to get better at just... I want to start going to the Lucky Duck or something and just picking fights with people. No material. Just yeah, go, the, just do, go to the Lucky Duck and be like, you fucking stink, dude. That's one, <laughs> you, that's one you, way of doing it. You're, you're the worst. Telling somebody they stink is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh... uh but that's what, yeah, that's one way to do it. I think that'll I will create, start doing that'll that. create a very, uh, but you'll only be able to handle it aggressively then, right? Which, is which not. that was more of a feelsy one. Yeah, yeah, the one yeah. that you had to deal with was more of there was more there was more going on there. Yeah, they weren't attacking you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. a little. I mean, a little bit, but yeah. but uh, well, I'm just saying though, if you if you <laughs> only learn how to deal with it from your, I mean, that's you starting it, right? That's, that's like yeah, that's yeah, nuts. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That I, is just a funny. That is, you could just be that comedian. <laughs> I mean, he's like, this guy goes up, and he just <laughs> starts shit. With I don't crap. think I want to be that guy. Yeah. yeah, no, you don't want to be that guy. No. Nobody wants to be that guy. Uh, uh, but that's just reps. That's just getting uh, up. There I need to get thicker skin. It. Yeah, I just need to do it more. Yeah. No, it's not even a thicker skin. You just need to be used to that. Yeah, it just you, it needs to be something that's so automatic. That's like, oh, this is that's a that's have you ever, funny. Have you ever had this? Have you ever the last like? thing that sticks out in my mind i was at again at maggie mays yeah and there was this girl yelling out during other people's sets she like fucked up a couple other people and then i got up there and she was yelling <clears throat> and i obviously i'm inexperienced so i didn't know what to do or I, you know i kind of folded a little bit but i was trying and uh she was a self-deprecating heckler have you ever had this yeah where they're making fun of themselves loudly and you're like they're, it's like they're trying to beat you to it or something mm -hmm. that's a weird fucking that's game. really what it is because yeah. Because I was like, she was she was like, my boyfriend won't leave me because I like talk about being in a relationship for a long time. She's like, my my boyfriend won't leave me, he won't leave me. And I was like, what? You know, like what are you even saying? And she was like, what do I have to do? And I was like, I don't know, just get fat or something. And she was like, already there, <laughs> and it trolled herself. And I and she's so she's killing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Everyone's yeah. like, oh my god, she she's is. killing. Really? Yeah, not oh, really, wow. ki not that bad. But it was just like she got some laughs from that, and I was like, fuck, I should have like you know said, well, you're already fat. Yeah, you know what I mean yeah. or whatever. So I don't know what else there is to do. My boyfriend, and, and then, I can't believe that. <laughs> that. That was the first set my uh, fiance watched me do stand up. And uh, she was like, yeah, you should have told her to just keep being herself. And I was like, damn it, you're so smart. Yeah, how did everyone get there before you? Yeah, I don't That's know. That's crazy. I know. You're the guy yeah. with the mic. I know. I'm going to retire. I don't know. I'm new. I'm new to this. Yeah. I'm going to keep working that angle until I'm not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you also, you've been doing it like a year and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Not that I think now. I'm right where I need to be. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think yeah. I'm all right. I think I just get usually get through my shit and I don't get it. I haven't gotten interrupted that much. And I've just gotten lucky with not getting heckled that much, and so I haven't had a lot of time to deal with it. So go to rooms where they do it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's how you deal with it. How long have you been doing it? Seven, six, seven years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I've been in the game. Been in the game. You deep Minute. in the game. Yeah. That's yeah. good in the game. I'm young in comedy, but it where is. Where are you from? Uh, I started. Well, I started comedy in Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee. In Knoxville. Okay. In Nashville. What's it like out there? Uh, I don't know. It's a small town. Yeah. Fucking couple mics a week, couple shows a week type of thing. And then uh, there's no club in Knoxville. There's a club in uh, 
uh, Nashville, Zanies. Yeah. So I was out there a lot, uh, nice. <clears throat> doing stuff in Nashville. Nashville's got Nashville's got like, a <coughs> good scene. Yeah, like, good. Yeah. Are you full time comedy? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Nashville's got a good Crusher. scene, dude. There's a lot of a uh, lot of good guys coming out of Nashville. And then a lot of the a lot of the guys who were from Tennessee that came here are really good. You know, yeah. the class of people that we have. It's like you know. I came out from Tennessee, Trey, Lucas, yeah. Casey Shornima. Lucas McCreary? Yeah. Oh, damn. Nick Cox. Yeah. Uh, uh, did I say Matt Boyd? Matt Boyd came out of that. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else. Casey is... Uh, yeah, was Atlanta. He well, he was in Boise for a long time, but he did uh, uh, Atlanta for a long time, and so which is just like a few hours south. Okay. Um, and there's a bunch of people. You have never done comedy outside of Austin. I need to do that. Need yeah. To go just even it within Texas, go yeah. somewhere else. Go to San Antonio. It's like yeah. an hour away. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go to New Braunfels soon. Okay. Go to Lucy's. I don't, have you been out there? I just did it last week. Would you, was it fun? Lucy's is very fun. That JT guy? Shout yeah, out yeah, JT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucy's yeah. very fun, actually. Oh, yeah. You were just in Dallas, right? For like. L- yeah, last week. I was a roast in Dallas battle for thing? Roast battle, yeah. Well, we, how was that? Uh, with uh, Michael Ridley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. He's still Asian. You know what I mean. I try. To, <laughs> you know, I try and get past that. But uh, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe one day he'll change. You know. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, he'll grow out. Maybe one day he'll get better. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one day he'll he'll stop being sick, dude. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, um, we love you, Michael. Um, that was good. That was that big laugh. Um, it was a small crowd, but it was they were good. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. What's well, Dallas? I still haven't been really to Dallas. Dallas is fun. It's got How's the, it? the big laugh club is there now, and then the two hyenas clubs, and then there's two improvs. Did, and to notice anything different, just as a city from Austin? No, no, it's just, no. just the same shit. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Austin crowds are very. Uh, I don't know. They seem like a good, like, there's a good mix of, like, you have, like, the downtown crowds, and then you have, like, you know, up at Cap is very, like, traditional, like, almost touristy fucking mm. comedy club crowds. I still haven't People, done like, that either. get in front of everybody. Yeah. yeah. I just meant more as, like, a city. Like, did you guys do anything? Oh, no. No? No. Just... no. We, we, got to the, we got to the show, like, ten minutes before <laughs> it was starting, and then we left as soon as it, as soon as it ended. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's just yeah. Dallas. I, right. I, also, it's so close. I've been up there so many times. Everybody's obsessed with the Dealey Plaza thing. What's that? That's where uh, I almost said where Trump got shot. That's where uh, JFK got shot. Was in Dallas. The Knoll, the grassy the Knoll. The grassy Knoll is in is in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, it's in that plaza. Is yeah, that what Gr- Dealey Plaza. Uh, yeah, or something. Right. No, we yeah. didn't do that. Yeah, I'm good yeah. with that. Yeah. yeah. Some everybody. Sure I don't know why people want to see it. I don't know why. What's it gonna do for you? Are you yeah. gonna solve the fucking mystery? Are you yeah. gonna? You gonna find some new information? Why do people yeah, want to go to Dealey like Plaza? A, it's not like a, it's not like the Alamo. It's not like a building no. you can go see. It's well, just, I think it is kind of right. I think there's got to be some kind of fucking tourist. A plaque? There, a plaque. there may be a plaque. I don't know. But even I don't. It's just a grassy. It's just a. Why do people want to see grass. a plaque? Why do they want to see a plaque? I don't even think there is a plaque. I don't think so. I think that just. I think that little area you can just go look at. That's where they got them. That was the knoll. Why? What's fun about that? I don't know. You tell me. You brought it up. No, I'm <laughs> saying I, I'm, I'm just. I wouldn't go. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Yeah, we didn't go. We, we went to the show and left. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I don't either. He's interrogating me on why <laughs> people. Well, I, I know. I'm just trying to. Ask. I'm just. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just riffing here, dude. I'm just trying to figure out why people want to go see a grassy knoll where JFK got shot. Like it'd be one thing if you could go up in the root in the fucking window where he was allegedly pointing the gun and out. Shoot. That might be kind of cool. Be fun. Yeah, there's like a little a little range, <laughs> yeah, a, little, a little BB gun. Yeah, range. that'd be fun. Yeah, and there's just like a mock car. Yeah, it's like how close can you get to yeah. Lee Harvey's yeah. shot? You yeah, know? even when like a stuffed animal. No one would be able to do it. because yeah. it probably didn't happen that same way they said it did. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think he got shot? No, he'd for sure. I mean, <laughs> it looks unless, like he, got unless shot. he had a grenade right behind his back of his head or yeah. something. No. That one's weird. That one is weird. They said the bullet bounced all around, all weird. The magic bullet. Yeah, we're back on conspiracy. You see how we did that? Yeah. That was interesting. Um, what's your biggest conspiracy? What's the one, what's your most outlier? Like, I'm kind of into this one, even though it makes me look nuts. I don't know. Um,. Flat Earth is pretty fun, dude. I don't. I'm. I don't agree with it, 
but I think it's fun. Okay. I think it's fun. Mm-hmm. I've had I have friends that are like diehard, super flat earthers, avid flat earthers, and I'm just like, okay, tell me, you know right. what I mean? And then, and I can try to digest some of it. It's just so ridiculous. I feel like people are too. Like my thing is about it is I'm like, why are they, why are either of you so concerned? Because the flat earthers are like it's fucking flat, and people that are like that hate flat earthers are like you're the fucking dumb. They get like if you say to a group of people the earth is flat, so many people will get actually actually upset. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like okay, but you can entertain all this other shit. You know what I mean? But you can't you can't just have fun with this one. I think it's funny that you, that nobody can have fun with it. You know it what I mean? Is, it is but, so stupid, though. It is. That it does... It is... Are you a flat earther? Not really. Oh, here I we go. Yeah. That, <laughs> that is not a good answer. It's, it's <laughs> I, I find it fun, like what he said. I, I can, but you don't like, believe the if, earth like, is flat? No, I have no idea. I've never been up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, this term like earth shape agnostic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> earth shape agnostic. I guess it doesn't really, really matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really like the hollow earth theory. I think that one's really fun. Hollow earth. Yeah. And that that just means that it's empty. What is the no, actual no, hollow earth theory? That there's just like a bunch of like subterranean like places in the earth that are inhabited, and like there's all these you know legends from all these different old cultures about we came up from under the earth in the ancient times, and it's really fun. And like in Antarctica, there's like a hole go down to the center of the earth or whatever or there's a whatever i don't know it's fun he's a flat earther dude <laughs> yeah yeah it's not, well he's a hollow earther yeah he's a hollow earther for fun. sure why don't you start digging idea. then boy yeah but you think it's <laughs> why don't you start digging no, empty I don't, I don't believe they yeah it's but it would one. be cool i think it's a fun idea i think it would be cool that would yeah be, that would make the world a lot more interesting place to live yeah right? yeah i i don't know it was true. yeah what if they're having fucking parties down there? We don't know about like it. Zion. Yeah, I think the Matrix, the underground city. Yeah, you think Zion's down there? I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't think. Well, it wouldn't change anything, right? Right. I mean, but what if there's like a whole civilization down there that's like secret or whatever? That's where I'm at. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where I think. I think. I don't know if it's in the in the. Like is that what all those UFOs are coming out of the ocean for? Yeah, yeah. You know? So I think I think there's a good there's a good. Uh, uh, it would uh, seem like it could be just as likely that there's an uncontacted civilization yeah. on Earth. That seems like even more likely that that's the case than Coming aliens are here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because also already that's already here. happened. That's already happened. But that's also like the aliens in, are our, in, our, in our species history. That's already happened yeah, we multiple know, times. We know more about space than we do than what's in the fucking ocean. That's what yeah, this you guy know? did. Yeah. 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 Just saying. Yeah, earth shape agnostic, dude. Jar Jar's down there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find Jar Jar. He's a horny. <laughs> Jar Jar, dude. Arguably the worst Star Wars character in existence. Right? Yeah, yeah. The the most the most uh, ma- uh, hated by everyone. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, now is now beloved though. Right, he went through a re- weird resurgence. Yeah. Right. He came back so as cool. a meme, and then everyone thought he was rad. You remember there's a there's a pop, there's a was it like a lollipop that was his tongue? You remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the Jar Jar tongue? Yeah, it's a real thing. Look, here, look it up. Oh, too. I got it. I got it. Jar Jar Binks tongue lollipop. Yeah, he's got it. No way. Licking a tongue. Tongue is a weird shape for a lollipop. Oh, Licking yeah. another tongue. It's kind of weird. Kind of sexual almost. It's kind of weird. Candy. Yeah, what the dude. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to wear a bye one. No. Uh, dude, like you're just flashlight. sucking on that thing. Seven years old. Your mom is like, who the fuck? Grandma He's making out with. Why did you buy this for yeah. him? That is. It's his whole mouth on it. Though. Extreme, so you gotta fucking. You gotta get in. You there. gotta get in there. You gotta make out with him. You gotta make out with him. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh my god, dude! It looks so weird. Looks like a giant clit or something. It's really weird. Yeah, dude, that thing is going up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How many young? How many young boys had their first yeah, sexual experience with this? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Jar Jar was wild. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then it gives it, me the same vibe. And yeah. It looks like anytime, yeah. and then anytime you Why does see, it look like a boy's ass. Anytime you see Jar Jar Binks, you just your dick gets a little tingle. You're I like, guess, what the fuck? Dude. What's happened to me? 
Oh, yeah, I had that Jar Jar Binks tongue pop when I was seven years old, the movie premiere. That's going to be one to work out in therapy. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. I'm just into Jar Jar. What else are you into? You into old old collectibles and shit like this? You like no. shit like this? No, I got nothing cool like that. You're not into anything cool? No, I wish. No? I wish I, like, collected stamps you or just, something. You just stare at the wall until you have to go do stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Stamps would not be cool at all, dude. Well, I don't know, man. People cool have did, stuff. Like, buttons. Yeah, buttons, like, like, something. Oh, you know? Yeah. Never understood. I just, I'm not into baseball. I'm not into football. You know what I mean? They were playing fantasy last night. You're not night into balls, fucking, dude. You're just not into balls. Straight, I don't man. play video games. No games. I don't fucking yeah, really? don't collect shit. I like the bike. The bike rules. The bike you know? rules. I can stand up. What's the bike do for you when you're on the bike uh, mentally? When you're uh, pushing away, it's just fun. Yeah, yeah, it's just fun. It's Exploring a good time. feels like free. It feels like it feels like it does feel like being a kid again. You know what I mean? Just like on a bike. Yeah, it's a very kid like. No one way. Of, one of my favorite things about the bike is like that feeling when you bike really far away from your house and you're like, oh fuck, I'm, I'm we're out here. We're yeah. out in deep waters. Like, yeah, I got a bike back. Yeah, I got a bike back. Yeah, yeah. There is something weird about that. I also like I like getting somewhere under your own power is kind of cool too. Yeah, I bet like, that was crazy being yeah. out there. Well, you you guys had the RV following yeah. you with all the boys. Yeah, in there, but right? we were out there, dude. There were times I was like fucking out there, dude, like dude, away yeah. from. Did everyone. you have a light on your head or front, yeah. like a front light? Yeah, for at nighttime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but. Uh, so did you guys go to the festival with like, you all beat up? Did you say fuck yeah. it and just go because you were there already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went to the hospital and went to the hospital <clears> and then. Uh, well, we spent a day in that town where the hospital was uh, deciding what we were going to do. And then we decided, yeah, just go to the festival. So then we just went all the way straight to straight to Vegas. I went and checked on the hotel. Nice. That was a bummer the whole week. Anybody give you like a, Darian, good to see you, a bunch, dude. A bunch no of people way, did that. No, a bunch they of people did that. you up yeah. too hard. Yeah. Ah, and, fuck. And like, Are you serious, dude? <laughs> it's in a sling. Get off of me! Cut up and fucked up. Yeah, yeah, dude. Darian, what's good? I'm already kind of a prickly guy, you know what I mean. So now I'm in like a bunch of pain. Yeah, around comics. And you're like, yeah, you're, yeah, you're already, you're easily grumped. Yeah, you're easily grumped if somebody rubs you the wrong way. Yeah, and now they're literally rubbing me the wrong way. They're literally, buddy, what's up? Fuck, fucking serious, dude. That was a bummer. That whole that whole uh, festival is a very like the, the hang is like the whole thing of that whole festival, right? Ru- ruined like, for no you. No one's really there to do comedy. Everyone's <laughs> there to hang and party and have a good time. Yeah. And I would just go do my set and then go back to the room and just sit. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would go back to the room. I just piss. Ow. Yeah. yeah. Just in pain. lick your wounds. Well, it hurt, dude. It was it yeah. really hurt. Uh, so I like, couldn't move my arm and shit, and I didn't want to hang out. So yeah, yeah. Any funny stories from the RV? Yeah, that seems crazy. Just the boys on an RV. So for people that that didn't follow along, they're they're he's biking from doing a big bike from Austin to Vegas. How many miles was that? Uh, sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred miles, which is Total. nuts. And uh, and they're following behind at like what? Five miles an hour or something. Yeah, it depends on the time. There was there were times where we have we would have the car right behind me, and then there were other times where like they were like setting up stuff and they'd be ahead of me or behind okay. me, like way behind. But me monitoring where you were, your yeah, location yeah. on your phone or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The boys got into it on the RV, man. I, I wasn't. I, I didn't get to experience a lot of that though, because I was always just on a bike. <laughs> You're just eating shit yeah. on the bike while yeah. they're partying. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. <laughs> they're like rock star on tour. Yeah, and you're just like dying that's what everyone thought, and I was bike. like, yeah. Dude, it must have been so fun partying in the RV. Like, no, I was fucking no, sleeping. I was, tired. my I whole was, body hurt. Every day, I had ridden 150 miles on a bike, and then I'm just sitting there, like exhausted, barely can barely eat food, and they're just on drugs and drinking and fucking. It was a fuck. It was the whole thing was a complete disaster yeah. from start to finish. I heard, yeah. I heard Mike broke the stove. Mike broke the stove. Yeah, that. Well, he broke a glass piece above above the stove. Oh, he didn't okay. break the stove itself. There's a lot of uh, 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 Dean. Uh, Dean. Dean was just a fucking Dean. Listen, I love Dean. I love Dean to death. But especially after the ride was over, he became a real. He was he was going hard. He pissed on Matt at one point. What? Yeah, in the, middle, in the middle of the night, he, like <laughs> pissed in the bed. <laughs> it was all over Matt. Everyone was already mad. Uh, yeah. It you was, ever uh, you ever get drunk and piss yourself as an adult? We've talked about that on the podcast. As an ad- I don't think as an adult. 
Yeah. Uh, no. That's good. No. No. I shit myself as an adult. Really? No way. Yeah, yeah. Actually, not too long ago. You guys are still doing that? No, it had been a while since. It had been a while since. (laughs) Yeah. You you guys are still doing that? Gay, dude. What are you guys, children? When's the last time you shit your pants? Dude, never. (laughs) No, no, no. Ironclad record, dude. When's the last time? (laughs) Uh, He's gonna say years ago, which is a lie. Dude, it was it was, it was months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there for it. Yeah. I was there, so you can't lie your way out of it. Uh, <laughs> I remember I was sitting outside a creek, and uh, I was in my car. I was in my car. Uh, like right on parked right on seventh, and there was this crazy storm happening, and I had to shit so bad. I had to shit so bad that I had like my foot like planted on the floorboard, trying oh, to like God. clench. Clench, yeah. And I remember I called Trey. <laughs> I was like, "Yo," and he was like, "What?" And I was like, "Dude, if I move, I'm going to shit myself." <laughs> <laughs> you gave her the play-by-play. <laughs> Did you shit on the phone with him? No, dude. So <laughs> I ended up. I gotta go. I, I, I gotta up, yeah, go. I hung up. <laughs> I ended up driving all the way. I ended up getting all the way fucking home. Uh, and uh, I'm getting out of my car and I'm walking up to my apartment and it's uh, it's like raining, storming, right? And I uh, hit this rock <laughs> and I slipped and just oh, filled oh, my pants. No. <laughs> just filled my pants. <laughs> Full adult shit, like, like. Not like a little, like a, like, the, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like a baby. Like you've been clinching for an hour. Oh my God. Yeah. The floodgates <laughs> just opened. You slipped and, and fell on your back. And I'm my apartment. Yeah, dude. On the ground with shit pants in the everywhere, rain. Fucking everywhere, bro. You're so close. I know, man. That just must have been one of I your know. lowest lows. No, it was kind of cool. Oh, sweet. That's yeah. a good story. No, it was fun. My story. wife wasn't there, so, so. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It was easy to go in and do Honey, yeah, you exactly. have to clean that up. Go away. <laughs> yeah. You can't see me like this. <laughs> Earmuffs. Yeah. Clothes pin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was embarrassing. Glad it didn't happen at Creek. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I pissed myself. I don't think I pissed myself. Not drunkenly. The the last time I shipped myself, we were we were actually here in the office on the in the other room. I was working on stuff and I was it was a normal like Oh, I have to, I have to shit, you know? And so I got up, I went to the bathroom, handled it. Everything was good. I went back and sat in the chair and I was like, oh, there's some, there's a wet, there's a wet feeling. What is this? Yeah. And then I went back and looked and my, my pants were shit. And I don't know, it wasn't like a lot, you know what I mean? It was like, it was more, they were sharded, you know what I mean? Too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. It was was enough that it was uncomfortable. And I was like, how did this, when did this happen? I'm trying to put piece together, you know, yeah. the math, the, yeah. the matrix yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> numbers, ones and zeros are going in my head. Weren't you I'm trying like, to like sneak out a little fart? When like, did oh. I shit my pants? No. No? No. I don't think so. It was just, it, that, that, I'm still perplexed. I'm still trying to solve that mystery to this day. Of how I, how, when you shit your pants. When. How, how long has shit been in your pants? I don't know. It was, it was literally when I went back to the bathroom, or from the bathroom, sat down to continue working, I felt like, I, I felt a wetness near my ass. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I went and checked and there was, and it was like, it was almost like, you know, when you're like, when you're, when you're pissing and sometimes you piss your piss yourself a little bit, like, or like your dick is aimed like through the toilet seat. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you piss into your pants. That's happened, right? Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. Um, we got to come up with a name for that. There need to, there needs to be a name for pissing through that crack. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Between the, the between the seat and the porcelain, you yeah. piss through the piss through the passageway. Yeah. And it just fills up your yeah. yeah. That actually that happened to me recently. I was shooting an event <laughs> with doing photography shit at this event, and it was like day one of like a four day thing I had to do. And I, I sit down to to shit, and I'm doing I'm doing business on my phone. I'm, I'm te- messaging some, I'm messaging someone. All I'm like right. in the zone on my phone, yeah. right? Yeah. And and I'm like something's off here. <laughs> and and I look down, and my I have pissed a full bladder's worth of piss d- through oh, that pass no. through that passageway into my pants that are on my at my ankles, and the the piss was just like going through that passage in a perfect arch right into like the cro- the crotch of yeah. my underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then it, so I, I had I had absolutely so- sopping wet, full of piss underwear. What'd you do? I bought luckily my my I would think I was wearing these shorts these khaki shorts which are the worst if piss is present. You know yeah. what I mean? You can see. Yeah. And uh, and so luckily the shorts were were bone dry. 
Oh, Somehow wow. the underwear had caught the piss. So you perfectly. just threw the underwear I away. I threw the undies away, dude. Yeah. The sogging wet undies, I threw them away. Yeah. And then I continued to shoot. I free balled that whole rest of that day, well, you dude. You have to. You have yeah. to. I had to shoot. I couldn't. Because you also, that's not hey. when you can go to them and be like, I have to leave. I pee pee my pants. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, I know yeah. you paid me $3,000 for this, but I pee pee my pants. I'm out of here. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I pee peed. I gotta yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the talent. I pee peed. Oh, I'm out. No, dude. <laughs> and then more recently, I was hanging out with some buddies and we we're out drinking late, partying. And <clears throat> they busted out uh, some ketamine, and I've never done ketamine before. Yeah. And <clears throat> Mason was mad because he's been trying to get me to do ketamine forever. I had to call him and apologize that I did it without him. But and but I'm like against. I'm like no, I don't want to do ketamine. It doesn't sound fun. You guys don't sell it to me. It's everybody that that I know that's like ketamine is the cure. They're like weird depressed people that yeah. like nothing works for them. They're right. just unhappy, and so yeah. they're like ketamine's good. Right. That's that's what uh, you know scientists say or whatever because your brain is broken yeah right. yeah it's like it's on you go work out or right something. i don't know what to tell you right you know what i mean but it's not ketamine that's a weird that's a gay rave drug that depressed people are doing now it's okay. not you know that's how i that's that's how my brain thinks about ketamine yeah and so me and this other guy i'm with three different three friends two of them are like doing they're doing ketamine little bumps throughout the night and me and him earlier in the night we were like we dapped on it we're like dude ketamine's fucking lame dude we're not doing ketamine ketamine's fucking we don't need that we're right. not doing it we fucking so cut you know. to you in a k-hole and then, hole and then they're minutes. well and then they're like that later on in the night i guess i got like almost blacked out drunk and they're like hey you guys want to do some ketamine and we're both like fuck yeah let's yeah. go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. right after like, yeah. it was like 30 minutes later I've been there. and i don't remember any of this at all and then so they basically throw my dead body in an uber like we hung out for a while we like were singing and doing sing along to songs and having a good time and then i just like you know not was like blacked out at some point they put me in an uber send me home i made it into my house at some point and uh i went to go lay down in bed and i just uh plopped down on like the whole my girlfriend was sleeping on the couch and i like, plopped down my whole body just across the bed and I, I usually would like wake her up. Hey, let's go to bed. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so she was like, she was like, why didn't he wake me up? So she comes and tries to scoot my legs over so she can go to bed. And I just roll out and smack like all my weight on the floor. And she can't get me to move or anything. She yeah. like puts a pillow under my head and I'm yeah. just like rigor mortis out. And uh, I don't remember any of this. And so she, she, I finally get up to take a piss. And I go straight for the closet, and I'm trying to piss in the closet. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, no, 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 don't piss in the closet. And I was like, okay, cool. So I go over to the sink. But right. I have, but it's kind of cold in my house. I have a tall sink, and, you know, I have, like, frozen ketamine dick. You know what I mean? So I can't quite get in. I'm, like, tippy-toeing to get up onto the, to piss in the sink, yeah. right? Yeah, and oh, then, yeah, yeah. And then so I eventually am like, this is not going to work. So I just kind of go flat on my feet, and I'm just kind of pissing into the cabinet underneath the sink. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And so she doesn't know what else to do. I love this woman. She puts up with so much. She's the best. But uh, she she doesn't know what else to do. So she just kind of holds a towel. You know, like when you hold a towel up to like change, like your buddy, your you know, your kid, yeah. your dad's holding the towel to right. change in front of it. But you're pissing all over I, the. I'm cabinets. pissing into the t into the towels. She's blocking the cabinets from getting covered in piss. She's you know what I mean. Uh, she's holding. I thought the she was just blocking somebody from seeing. No, you. she's bl she's blocking the <laughs> cabinet with the towel. Right, right. So right. she's like, she's doing like a You're Toro pissing on thing. the towel. I'm pissing into this towel, and I filled up two towels worth of piss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went back to bed, and then I woke up, and I was, I woke up in my t-shirt, and with nothing else on, just Winnie the Poohing. You know what I mean? And so, I was like, what happened? So what in the heck? <laughs> what in the heck? Last time I checked, I was in a hotel room. What is going on? So did you do ketamine again after? That? No, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> that was horrible. It sounded awesome. I mean, it, the story, it's a good story, but yeah. it's, it's, it sucked. Overall, still anti ketamine. Still haven't had that, that fucking come to Jesus moment that everyone's yeah. talking about. Yeah. Dude, ketamine is so great. I, yeah. I, I don't think that, I don't think that's. Possible. Have you done it and had fun? I've had fun on it. Yeah. What's your experience? Did you pee? I think so. Really? Yeah, I think so. Did I do a like, towel. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. No way. No, 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 no. I don't, Fuck, I don't this remember. happens every time. I don't remember peeing like that. So uh, many, so much laundry. I've had good experiences on it, though. It yeah. was fun. Yeah. I don't think it's the, uh, I don't think it, the, the therapeutic version of it does freak me out. I used to hang out at this place called uh, uh, Kuya, which is right by On It. You ever been there? They have like cold plunges and. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but they have like cold plunges and. Uh, 
a sauna and they have uh, float tanks and massage thing. It's cool, but their their base thing though. Well, I didn't find out their base thing was uh, their ketamine treatment oh. center. Huh. And then it's like as soon as I found that out, like it clicked. Why like it has like a real kind of like culty vibe in there. Yeah. Like uh, like all the ketamine people are coming. Yeah, yeah. And then it clicked to me. I was like, oh, that's you guys are all fucking. Yeah, this is how Jim Jones got you guys. Yeah, you yeah. fucking. I don't want to talk shit. I mean, that, that right. place is super no, no. dope. But, and it, but, and it does yeah. help people. Yeah. I guess, apparently. It I helps guess. People. I don't know. Well, yeah. drugs are just fun. Yeah. I love when people are like, yeah, they, yeah, drugs cured your depression. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just fun no as fuck. Shit. Yeah, you guys are having fun. Drugs. You're just getting fucked up. Yeah. 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 Getting fucked up rules. To me, the, the serotonin dip off drugs the next couple of days was like the worst. Like, I don't understand how the depressed people do the ketamine. And then they come out of it, and they're like, de- "I'm like depressed for three days." Maybe that's how I know I Did don't. You get need a big it. dip like that on cat. I don't think you get that. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't think you get. That. I think that's like a coke and ecstasy thing. Oh, okay. Which makes know. sense. Yeah. Which is why both those drugs are a bummer. Yeah. Eventually, I never understood how people ruin their lives on cocaine, like because <clears throat> it is kind of fun. It is fun, but it's like it's not. Every time I do this, I'm like, you know, it's. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Pay a ton of money. I wouldn't give up my fuck. I wouldn't put the house on this. Yeah, you know, like yeah, it's not that fun. It's only kind of fun for like a, a little bit. I don't know. Maybe you may just not have the brain for it, brother. Maybe because I totally see it. Yeah, yeah. I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, from that first one, I, I don't do. I don't. I don't. I mean, I do I get that you. Anymore. I get that you want to keep doing it that night. But then the next day, I pretty much am like. Could you imagine I don't if you do never that. ran I don't out? Do if that you again. never ran, but the, the only reason you stop though is because you've run out. True. <laughs> Could you imagine if you were in a situation where you just didn't run out? That would be crazy. That'd be no, the yeah. house would be gone. That would the ho- I, I would put the house. On, yeah, probably. put the house up. And it's like a week. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I actually don't need this house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that. I totally get it. <laughs> and you know what? All my friends, they just do all the coke. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit in this dark room. Yeah. I don't need friends. Do I have coke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long have we been going, T? Uh, an hour and six. All right, you want to wrap this up, dude? I'm good, dude. Yeah, Let's yeah. wrap this up. Yeah, I had yeah. a lot of fun just yeah. chatting with you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, for sure, that we did fun. it. Um, want to plug your shit real quick? And uh, just Darian Irwin on uh, on all social. You got any shows coming up in a couple weeks or anything? I've got. I'm all over the place next few weeks. All uh, over the but place. all my stuff. If you go into my Instagram uh, in the link tree, you can see all the dates and everything. Cool. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot.